everyone. Today's video is going to be my July favorites. I'm just going to share with you the things that I have been loving and using the most throughout the month of July and things that have just been my favorites. Um, they're not necessarily all new products, but just things that I have been loving for this month. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. And yeah, I really don't have much else to say besides let's get started. So the first product that I'm going to share with you guys is a mascara. And this is the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. And there are two different versions. This is the one with the like yellowish, goldish um, top. They do have a pink one as well. I know the wands are different. Uh, and this one's actually a waterproof mascara. Now, I know a lot of people stray away from waterproof mascara because, you know, they say that it can pull your eyelashes out and this and that. And that's really not the case if you're using a good eye makeup remover and as long as you're not sitting there picking out your eyelashes. So, I have really been loving this one and I actually bought the regular formula as well and I like the waterproof formula way better. I don't know what it is about this, but it just makes my lashes so long and curly and it they hold the curl throughout the day and I just love it and the main reason why I bought this actually is because I knew I would be by the pool and I know that it's hot outside and usually when it's hot outside I can notice that my mascara will transfer up onto um, the top of my lids or sometimes even down here where I put my concealer and I just I can't stand that so this does not transfer it is true to waterproof I know sometimes when you buy things that say waterproof they don't necessarily work but this one does and yeah, like I said, I do have the regular formula of this, but I enjoy the waterproof one much better. Okay, so this next product that I'm going to share with you guys is the Marc Jacobs Light Filtering Contour Palette, and I have it in the Mirage Filter number 40. I did use this in my highlighting and contouring routine, but I just wanted to share it with you again and tell you how much that I loved it, just in case some of you didn't see my highlighting and contouring routine. And I just love this so much. If you are looking for a highlight and contour to personally fit your face. Now there's so many highlighting and contouring palettes out now. It's crazy. But I just find that when you get the palettes that have a ton of different colors, I really would only use two to three of those shades that fit my skin tone. So it's kind of a waste of money to pay for this big palette unless you're a makeup artist and you're doing makeup on your clients. That's a different story. But if you're looking for something just for you, I think it's better to go with something like this where it just has two shades that fit your skin tone. So I'll go ahead and I'll swatch these for you. So you can see I swatched the banana color right here on the back of my hand and you can see it's just a nice, very light banana color. Since I am on the lighter side, a lot of the banana colors don't really work for my skin tone. They just show up a little bit too yellow and they almost make me look sickly. So if you have been having the same problem looking for a yellow colored um, highlight shade, really check out this palette because the color is so beautiful and it's very, very light. So it's not going to make you look sick. It's what I have on today. It's what I've been using pretty much every day since I bought this palette. I haven't used anything else to highlight or contour. It's just so perfect for me. And then I'll show you also the contour shade, which I think is just brilliant. This is a contour color, and as you can see, it's on the cooler side, which is really what you want for a contour shade. You don't want something too warm and bronzy because it's not going to give you that shadowed, um, natural-looking contoured look. I just love these powders. The formula is amazing. They are so finely milled and they just work into the skin beautifully. I don't know if you can see from the side, but it does come with a beautiful mirror. I don't want to turn it towards the camera because the light's going to reflect and I don't want it to blind you guys, but it does come with this beautiful mirror. I use this all the time if I'm getting up close and doing my eyes or just doing detail work. This mirror is amazing. It's perfect for travel. It's so sleek. This packaging feels so luxurious. That's the good thing about high-end products is the packaging is most of the time really nice. So this Marc Jacobs palette is a little bit on the pricier side. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but in my opinion, if you're somebody who's going to invest in a highlight and contour kit, I would definitely invest in one that's personalized mostly towards your skin tone rather than buying a big palette with a bunch of different colors that you're really not going to use. So I think that this little palette is amazing and I would definitely recommend it to anyone looking for a good highlighting and contour palette and they do also have other shades as well. This next product is a dry shampoo and this is the Batiste dry shampoo with the original formula. I love this stuff. So if you're somebody who's not really familiar with what a dry shampoo does, it's a product that you spray in your hair, it's a powder, and it just extends the amount of time that you can go without washing your hair. When you spray it 
it in your hair, it soaks up the oils. So it makes your hair feel nice and fresh and clean, even if you didn't just wash it. I was somebody who didn't know that it wasn't good for you to wash your hair all the time. I used to wash my hair every single day and sometimes even twice a day. If I showered in the morning and before bed, I would wash my hair and that's actually really bad for your hair because your hair produces natural oils that keeps your hair healthy and strong and hydrated and when you wash your hair every day you're just stripping your hair of those natural oils that keeps your hair healthy so using a dry shampoo really extends the amount of time you can go in between washing your hair and it I just noticed such a huge difference in my hair now than compared to last year. It is just so much healthier, so much shinier. It grows a lot faster now that I don't wash it every single day. And I just really love this stuff. I've tried a couple other dry shampoos that I really don't like for many different reasons. Sometimes it doesn't make my hair feel clean or sometimes like the smells are weird. But I love this one. It's a nice fresh scent and it really does make my hair feel clean and also what I like to use this for is just to add a little extra body to my hair. On days like today where I just straightened my hair and it's completely flat, sometimes I'll spray a little bit of this if I want to. I didn't really do much today, just a little bit at the roots, just so it's not completely flat or even if you're curling your hair, it's nice to just spray some of this and it'll give your hair a little extra body. They do have some formulas that are directed towards darker hair because sometimes when you use a dry shampoo like this it can leave a white cast in your hair that's why you never want to spray it at the top of your head you want to really part your roots and spray it in between and then just shake it up with your fingers but if you are someone who's looking for a new dry shampoo or if this is the first time that you're hearing about it definitely check out Batiste I love this you can find it at Walmart or at your local beauty stores pretty much anywhere you can find this Speaking of hair products, I have two brushes to share with you and this first one I was really hesitant on buying for such a long time and I'm sure a lot of you have heard about these and they're, you know, just the tangle teasers. Some are at the drugstore, this one is from Sephora, but the reason why I've held off on buying it for so long is because it's almost $20 for a tiny little brush. I mean, if you can see how small it is, it's not even, it, it's about the size of the palm of my hand. So it's a small little brush and I just thought, I mean, do these really work? Is it really worth $20 for this little thing? And let me just tell you, yes, it is. I love this so much and I bought this specifically because I knew I was going to be spending a day at the beach and I was like, okay, if I get my hair wet in the salt water, this is really when I'm gonna put it to the test and see if it actually works. And it works amazing. And let me show you. The bristles, I'm not sure if you can see from the side, they're just these tiny little little bristles. So I don't know why this works so amazing, but it does, and it just detangles your hair so easily. You don't have to sit there and pull and tug at your hair. Any knots that you have, if you just sit there and work on it for a minute, it gets it right out. You don't have to sit there and pull at your hair. You're not going to rip your hair out. I just love this, and I got mine from Sephora because it comes with this little cap, which is amazing if you're going to put this in your purse. You close it so that way your bristles don't get ruined. So if you have heard about these and you just thought, eh, you know, maybe they're overrated, it's really not. I would check this out. It really has changed my hair again. And also another brush. This is so random. I heard a YouTuber talk about this about a year ago, so I don't remember who it was, but they mentioned that um, it's not good to use regular brushes when your hair is wet out of the shower. That's another thing I had no clue about. And I would get out of the shower and my hair would be all knotty and I would sit there and pull at my hair with a regular brush. And she had mentioned a comb like this that she found at Ulta Beauty. So even though this isn't new and I've had this for a while, I just wanted to mention it since I was mentioning the Tangle Teaser because this really has changed how my hair is. And it's just this little brush from Ulta. And I again, I don't know what it is about this brush. I don't know if you can see. It. I don't know what it is or why it helps so amazing, but I start at the bottom and then work my way up and it just gets all of the knots out. So it's so much better to use than a regular brush when you get out of the shower so you're not pulling out your hair. Your hair is the most sensitive when it's wet and it's most likely to break if you're pulling and tugging at it when it's wet because it's weak. So using a brush like this, it will seriously, it will change your hair. I used to have split ends like crazy and now my hair is so much healthier just by making those little differences, not washing it every single day, using a comb that's more gentle on my hair, and you know, just really being more aware of what I'm doing with my hair and it's so much healthier this year. 
So this next product is another high-end product and I really held off on sharing this in my favorites until I really knew whether or not I truly loved it and whether it was worth enough to share in my favorites with you. But it turns out that I really do love this product and it's the Chanel Cream Bronzer. It's got like some long fancy name. I'll, list, I'll list it in the description box in case you're interested in it, but it's it's a Chanel cream bronzer <laughs> and basically it just looks like this on the inside I've used it in my tutorials before and it's just so beautiful because during the summertime my daily routine really is just using a BB cream throwing on some of this right on my cheeks just to warm up the skin and you know some mascara and lip gloss and filling in my brows that's like my daily routine if I'm doing if I'm wearing any makeup at all that's really what I'm doing and this stuff has just been amazing because I've mentioned before that I just don't like to have powders on my face when it's hot outside. It just feels gross. And this stuff is so nice. You can blend it in with a beauty blender or a brush and it looks so natural on your skin and it doesn't cake up. And it's really hard to find creams that just settle nicely and evenly into the skin without caking up on your face throughout the day. So I really love this stuff. It's nice if you're just looking for something soft and light just to add some color into your face. It's just perfect. I really truly love this stuff. So I'll put a little swatch of this on my hand for you just so you can see what it looks like. But it's just so nice and light and creamy and it just it looks beautiful on the skin. It is quite pricey so I would only recommend this if, it, if you're really looking for a cream bronzer. It's hard to find a cream bronzer but if you're someone who is like on a mission like I was to find a good cream bronzer for the summertime, something that's nice and light on your skin that won't make you look cakey, I would definitely recommend checking out this Chanel cream bronzer. So the next product that I'm mentioning is pretty random and I'm not sure if some of you noticed but in my last makeup tutorial I used false lashes and that's the first time that I ever did that here on my channel and I just decided to play around and kind of step it up and take my makeup to the next level. I just realized that false lashes look so much more appealing on camera and in photos and it really just ties the look together and completes the look and takes your makeup to the next level. And that's why I decided to do that but I held off on it for the longest time because I just couldn't find any that really worked with my eye shape and that looked natural enough to wear. So the ones that I'm sharing with you are the Ardell Demi Wispies and I just love these so much because they just give you that extra boost of fullness and volume and you know just the, that length without looking too unnatural if you know what I'm saying. I'm wearing them right now I'm not sure if you could tell um, but they just complete the look and if you're somebody who if you have a special occasion or if you don't naturally have long eyelashes or if you just feel like playing around definitely check these out these are really great you can find them at your local drugstore they were only like five dollars I just love how they look and like I said for the longest time I just couldn't find any that didn't look fake and these are affordable and yeah I just think that they look really beautiful and just really add that extra boost to your makeup look. So these next few products are lip products and after hearing so many great things about this company I decided to pick these up and give them a try. If you are somebody who watches YouTube videos a lot or follow lots of beauty things on Instagram I'm sure that you've heard or seen these and these are the lip glosses by Gerard Cosmetics and also some lipsticks and I just got the basic nude colors. I feel like the best way to decide whether or not you like a product is to get colors that you are comfortable with versus trying like a random color and being like oh I don't like that brand you know that didn't work out for me. So I decided to go with just two nude colors to start off with and in the lip glosses I got Shimmer of Hope and Buttercream and Buttercream is actually a lip gloss that Jaclyn Hill collaborated with Gerard Cosmetics to create and if you guys watch YouTube videos I'm sure you know who Jaclyn Hill is everyone knows who Jaclyn Hill is she's amazing so I wanted to pick this up to support her and also just you know to see what all the hype was about because I heard great things about this company so I'm going to swatch these for you guys. These lip colors are super pigmented and they stay on for such a long time. So this is buttercream right here. I just did one swatch and as you can see it's just it's crazy pigmented for a lip gloss. That's insane. And right next to it I'm going to swatch Shimmer of Hope. So buttercream is more of a pinky nude and Shimmer of Hope is more of just a regular nude color and you, you'll be able to see the difference. 
So over here is buttercream. It's more of a pink color, a pink nude. And then here is shimmer of hope, which is more of just a regular nude color. Both really pretty, super pigmented. They last very long. I love the formula. And if you've seen the packaging, then you would know that when you open it, this little thing lights up and there's a mirror on the back of the lipstick. So you can actually see when you're applying your gloss or the lip gloss, I meant to say. So that's pretty cool. I don't really know when you'd need it unless like you're out or something at nighttime and you just want to pull this out of your purse and reapply your makeup if it's dark or something like that. So the first lipstick that I'm going to swatch also is called Buttercup, which is right here. This is really pretty. Just such a pretty regular nude to have. And that's Buttercup right here. And then right next to it, I'm going to swatch the other lipstick that I picked up. And this is in the color Rodeo Drive which I think is so pretty. This is like my everyday color. This is what I've been wearing almost every single day. I think it's just so pretty. It's like a mauve berry color. I love it so much. And I've actually been pairing it with um, my Mary Kay lip gloss that I shared with you and my Mary Kay Summer Favorites, which is um, Create Change. It's a limited edition lip gloss. I've been pairing that over Rodeo Drive, and it just makes the prettiest berry color ever. And then that's Create Change right next to it. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this. And if you've tried any of these products or if you end up trying them, leave me some comments and let me know what you thought about them. And also, if you have any favorites that you've been loving throughout the month, leave them in the comments below. I love trying new products and I love getting recommendations from people. So that would be awesome. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you do enjoy these videos, that would mean so much. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.